Hey folks, this is Jeremy from JJ Gaming, and welcome to the Diablo 3 guide for the Multi-Shot Demon Hunter. This is for patch 241. This build has seen a nice buff with this patch, which makes it a great build for climbing the Greater Rifts. For this build to work, you will need the full six-piece Unhallowed Essence set. Hands, shoulders, chest, head, legs, and feet. Bonuses of this set are the generators generate two additional hatred and one discipline. For the four piece set, you gain 60% damage reduction and deal 60% increased damage for eight seconds if no enemy is within 10 yards. Lastly, the six piece bonus is your generators, multi-shot, and vengeance deal 40% increased damage for every point of discipline you have. This is a huge jump from 20%, so in essence you are getting double the damage with this patch. For the weapon, Yang's Recurve, with a base bonus of multi-shot attacking 50% faster. In the Quiver, Dead Man's Legacy, Multi-shot hits enemies below 50 to 60% health twice and will also have a 75 to 100% damage crease to multi-shot. For the bracers, the wraps of clarity. Your hatred generators reduce damage taken for 5 seconds. And the belt can vary. An effective choice is the hunter's wrath which will boost the speed and damage of your primary skills, but the best in slot is the Witching Hour for a straight up damage boost. For the rings, focus, and restraint. These offer the best synergy with this build and also allow flow with the Wraps of Clarity as you will be using a Hatred Generator every five seconds to proc the damage boost. A Hellfire Amulet with a good roll is the best in slot on the neck. For the gems, Bane of the Trapped, Zay's Stone of Vengeance, and for the lower greater rifts or just farming, Bane of the Powerful. But once you start climbing higher greater rifts, you will want the Bane of the Stricken. And for the skills, first up is Evasive Fire Focus. This is your primary skill and hatred generator. The focus ruin increases hatred generation. Next up is multi shot, arsenal. This is your main attack, and with the arsenal ruin, you'll be firing multiple rockets with each attack. But remember to use evasive fire every 5 seconds to proc focus and restraint and the wraps of clarity for the damage and defense buffs. Next up is Vengeance Seethe. This is a dramatic boost to offense, while Seethe increases the hatred generation, allowing you to spam multi-shot without worry about hatred. Then Companion, Wolf Companion. The Wolf Pet is a nice addition, but the real advantage is when activated, you get a damage buff for a short time. For movement and getting out of difficult places, Vault, Tumble. Tumble helps keep the discipline cost down. Lastly, Preparation, Invigoration. This is here for the additional discipline. For the passives, you're going to want to start off with Ballistics. Rockets do more damage, and with the multi-shot Arsenal Ruin, there'll be plenty of rockets to go around. Call of the Weak. Slowed enemies take 20% more damage. Thrill of the Hunt. Enemies hit with Hatred Spenders are slowed by 80% for 2 seconds. This will proc Call of the Weak and Bane of the Trapped. And lastly, Steady Aim. With no enemies within 10 yards, all damage is increased by 20 seconds. When pushing, the higher greater rifts, survivability comes into play, so replacing steady aim with awareness 
is a solid alternative. And in the cube, you're going to want to go with Dawn. Reduce the cooldown of Vengeance by 65%. This is huge. With this, you will only need to roll in roughly 35% cooldown reduction in your gear and Paragon points to get 100% uptime on Vengeance. Visage of Goons. This gives Vengeance the effect of the Dark Heart Ruin, which reduces damage taken while in Vengeance. Convention of the Elements. For the 200% damage on the Elements, Multi-Shot is Fire Damage, so when Fire comes up, spam away. Okay, so let's get into the playstyle. While fairly simple, there's a few key things to make this build work. Basically, remember to keep 100% uptime on Vengeance, working Evasive Fire with Multi-Shot to proc Focus and Restraint and the Wraps of Clarity. Rinse and repeat. You use Wolf Companion for the damage buff when needed, and you use Vault to get out of dodge when needed. The synergy with the gear, passives, and gems is really where this build shines. Multi-shot slows, allowing Call of the Weak and Bane of the Trap to work. And the four-piece bonus of Unhallowed Essence working with Zay's Stone and Steady Aim makes staying at a distance deal top-level damage. That's the build. I'll let the video run for the rest of the Greater Rift. Thanks for watching. If you like, please give the thumbs up or subscribe to our channel. Be sure to check back often for more reviews, opinions, and guides from JJ Gaming. Feel my breath. 
Not ready yet. Need more time. Your fear betrays you. The Rift Guardian has found you. Still waiting. 